Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Bytes where we solve practical JavaScript problems in bite-sized chunks. In today's video, we are going to build a super fun and practical project, a voice-controlled web app using vanilla JavaScript and the web speech API. This means you will be able to click a button, speak to your website, and it will literally respond by changing styles based on your voice commands. And here's the coolest part. Your voice isn't sent anywhere online. This all works locally in your browser using built-in features. No servers, no tracking, no external APIs. This video is perfect for beginners who want to get into modern browser APIs or explore voice interfaces. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. So I'm in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create a new file called voicecommands.html. Add a boilerplate. Let's also add some styling. This is our HTML so far. This gives us a clean layout, a button, and a box where we'll show the speech result. Now I'm going to create a script tag and write our JavaScript to connect to the web speech API and handle voice commands. Let's break down what's actually happening in our JavaScript line by line, starting with line 30. Here we grab the div where we'll show the results of what the user says. We store it in a variable called result div so we can easily update it later. Next, we are using get computed style to ask the browser, hey, what's the actual background color and font size right now? We store those values so we can revert back to them later if the user says reset. This makes our app theme aware so we are not just resetting to plain white. After that, we set up speech recognition. We check if the browser supports the web speech API. Some browsers use speech recognition. Others like Chrome use WebKit speech recognition. This line picks the one that exists. If neither version is found, we tell the user their browser doesn't support voice recognition. Note Firefox and Safari might not have speech recognition. All right, after that, we create the speech recognition instance. We set the language to English, and we set the interim result to false, meaning we only want final confirmed results, not live updates while you are talking. When the speech recognition is finished, this function runs. The browser gives us an event which contains all the results. We extract the actual spoken words from event.results 00.transcript. We also lowercase and trim the string to make command matching easier. So change background and title case and lowercase change background both work. After that, we respond to voice commands. If the user said something like change background, we apply a new color to the page. Next else clause increases the font size of the result box if user says make text bigger. And the final line is the reset, where if the user says reset, we apply the original values we stored earlier. No hard-coded white background, just what the user started with. And if something goes wrong, mic access denied, no input, etc. This will let the user know. Finally, start listening kicks off voice recognition. It's connected to the button on the page. So when you click, it starts listening and updates the UI to say listening. So in short, we listen for speech input, extract the text, match it to a few simple voice commands, and change the page accordingly, all with just 30 to 40 lines of code and no external tools. All right, time to try it out. So here goes. Change background. Nice. Nice color. Perfect. 
make text bigger. Is it bigger? Uh, can't really say. Let's go to a code and let's make it a bit bigger so we can visibly see. First, we have to refresh. Make text bigger. Yes, it's working. Reset. And everything is back to normal. So a code is working. It listens to your voice, transcribes your voice, and responds immediately. All with no backend and in under 100 lines of code total. So that's it. You just built a real voice-controlled web app using native JavaScript and the web speech API. Let me know in comments if you want to go further. We can add multiple languages, text to speech, or even a full voice assistant. If this helped you, give it a like, subscribe for more WebDev plus AI tutorials, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.